Hello everybody, I resolved to win this run. For me and all the Hulkamaniacs out there, mostly for me, feeling real low confidence in my Slay the Spire career right now. What do we like? Is there an early shop? Yes. But the Burning Elite is on a different path. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing for the fences. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP. Let me explain. Transform a card, sure. Transform a, a defend maybe into something else. Who knows? Obtain a curse max HP plus 14. It's really good to be at 84 HP. We could remove the curse here. We could remove the curse here. In fact, we could remove the curse here. You got me excited about removing the curse here potentially, but. I'm going to try, and I mean, this is potentially great or potentially horrible. So we're just going to go with a more consistent option. My hope is that we can kill the Flaming Elite at 1 HP. Is it likely? Oh no, not at all. I think I'm going to start with a little poison. Just something to give us black ability. Uh, you know what? Yeah, give me a relic, and lantern is fine, and the curse is regret, which we might be able to discard anyway. And then immediately, let's remove regret. Okay, we got something great going on, because we are going to have a 1 HP elite. So this is a, a 10 times better of a start than I could have asked for. Uh, another deadly poison, sure, but also footwork is, is amazing. Um... I think we need the poison to, to define our archetype early. I do love a backstab. Substantially more than a dramatic entrance. But wouldn't we be happier if we just like maybe cut a strike out of this deck, unified it behind the theme of poison? I think so. Alright, we do have to hit you three times. And that will not happen on floor one. Unless I use a potion, which I'm not willing to do. Sorry, I forgot we had four energy, but... Okay, this is way better than we ever could have expected. Also, Omamori, this early, seems pretty great. I don't think we need any of those. So we'll recall. Next step is our first treasure chest. So we, we do have a real enemy this time. Um, I will pop this. Uh... I'm going to take Die, 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 and I'm also going to take the Steroid Potion. I think it's a very, very good start. I did think about maybe, you know, we take uh, Flying Knee, we get extra energy next turn, obviously. I hate making you stronger, but it's the best way to get you here, I think. Got to hit you for 10. It's very easy. Pretty much just got super lucky with the way this went down. Meat on the bone. No complaints. I think we we could really use a die die die, something that gives us some crowd control. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's start here. We'll take Sapphire Key, and now we can relax a little bit at least. What gets upgraded? Neutralize is pretty good. Keep in mind, Deadly Poison being upgraded is basically an extra thirteen damage out of it. it takes forever to get there, but. Accelerates pretty quickly. We we definitely want to add some more blocks to this deck as well. I'm gonna start with an upgraded deadly poison just because I'm I'm unaware of where it goes. So I figured why not give it a you know a chance to to dazzle me a little bit. I mean this guy's gonna be at 18 HP on turn two, which is really 12 HP. So this will take you to let now we have to block. It's fine. You're dead the turn after that. So any poison accelerators would be nice here. All out attack isn't what we want. Out maneuver, I don't think so. And quick slash, I don't think so. I really, in my opinion, we need to focus pretty heavily on defense right now. Well, this is just a stroke of great luck. So this deck seems great right now, but certainly don't want to get too cocky. Um, Recently, we've thought a lot of our decks looked great, and then instead of being great, they sucked. They just sucked so bad, especially as time went on, so I don't want to get cocky at all here. Do we need a third Deadly Poison? 
it's hard to resist the idea that, like, we can have enemies with, like, 30 damage per turn coming off of them. I love this game. <laughs> Okay, we do need Bane as well. Here's the thing though, uh, I really, really like to get some blocks. Our deck is is very, very weak from a defensive standpoint right now. On the other hand, you did just take a staggering amount of damage. Please draw a neutralize. No neutralize. Um, I will play a defend just for my own peace of mind and then... All right. Neutralize, defend. I mean, the whittling has begun. Let's just put it that way. 10 damage. I think if we're going to race the enemies, which we, we kind of are, sadly, we need to accept taking a little bit of damage, like 2 damage. Or in this case, uh... 27. I think this makes you die one turn faster, so I'm willing to go for it. Obviously, by the way, what do we need really in this deck? More than... Uh, more than any attacks, more than any blocks. Catalyst? I gotta... So we're... 14. This will take us to 1 HP, obviously. You're gonna die. So we're fine as long as we can block our burns next turn. But it, we got pretty close. I'm not sure if that's ab abundantly clear or not. Um, but in the end, hey, your HP is a resource, right? Corpse Explosion is the other one I was going to ask for. Specifically, this is very valuable at crowd control. So, easy. Rest assured, it's me, your boy. And uh, your boy is saying, please, God, give me some blocks. I really like this path, even though there's no shop. Um, what a terrible starting hand. Don't get me wrong, love the energy, but... Uh, so, blocks and catalyst. Can't stress enough. The run victory passes through blocks plus catalyst. So this enemy is dead. If, if there was any doubt that poison was going to be capable of killing, you know, enemies like these, this should change your opinion pretty easily. Um, 97 HP in like five turns. It's pretty good. I think if we were to get in Venom, we could justify the Cloak and Dagger. For now, as much as I want blocks, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't unify. And I think I'm going to pivot so I can get to the shop early and hopefully buy... Something useful. Um, I think the removal of a basic strike. It's uh, addition through subtraction. We could buy Ma Bank and leave. We could buy Apotheosis, but... I mean, with the amount of energy we have, I actually think buying Apotheosis is not horrible, but... With our, with our deck being thin, we might not need Apotheosis, you know? I do love uh, healing a little bit on each combat. I went with the safe play. I'm going to give you uh, another strike. So we're at a 15 card deck. I don't like basic defense anymore, but they're the only ones I've got. So, I mean, easy money here. Excuse me, you were poisoned. You got hit twice. I feel like uh, I've been ripped off. Get you closer to death. This is the fight where we would like a dagger spray. Um, so the thing, I mean, like, corpse explosion... Kills you. When you die, you're going to deal 27 damage to all enemies. Okay. 
I thought maybe it would have the damage, but thankfully not. Uh, I, I kind of want to add a dagger spray after that, but I think that that would be short-sighted. Now, this is a bad fight for us. This is what I was worried about is enemies that have, um... Enemies that have, like, any sort of, uh, artifact are gonna be a problem. But actually, these guys are not gonna be bad. As long as I can do 14 damage to you next turn, which is actually 9 damage, uh, you're- you're all dead. Well, no, cause you're- that's right, that's right. Disregard. You're still gonna take a nasty hit, though. Yeah, I thought it would take off the HP, which is obviously foolish, but... I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get a little reckless. Hey, who's the loser now, Mom? Now, mind you, that's all of our potions. Uh... I don't, I don't think we need it, but Doppelganger is admittedly tempting. And will always be. Because in the end, I'd rather add three poison than add two. Maybe we should have fought an elite there. Dude, they really... I don't want to fight two elites, though. Let's just... <laughs> let's pivot. Remove all strikes, obtain five bites. Literally, um, lose blood vial, make all of your strikes better. We only have two, though. Is that worth losing blood vial? I, I still think it probably is, as long as we can play at least one of them per turn. Wait, we got five bites out of it. Maybe we should read the things that show up on the screen. Do we want five bites? No. No, not really, at least. I mean, it looked okay on this turn, but maybe it's okay. I mean, they are substantially better than a than a strike. They do more damage, and they actually uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, they do more damage, and they actually uh, heal you. So I think maybe we'll be happy. But now it is like a third of our deck, which I'm I'm displeased with. Oh well. Uh, good. Bites. This is kind of what we want, I think. Certainly, when a lot of our stuff costs a 1, we're gonna be okay with it. And we'll just play a die, 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 and the neutral light doesn't really matter because you're dead. None of this is what we're interested in. A shop. Hello. Hi. Uh, Catalyst. It, it's, thank you. This is what I needed. It also gives me something to do at my next campfire. So... We just use Catalyst as a finisher, and I think we, we've got... Oh, 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 okay, okay, be cool. Um, uh, sounds weird. I think that's our play, though. We really just want to draw a Corpse Explosion and kill both of you. And we did. We'll bite first. Not bad. I will try. This could kill us, but again, it's basically Corpse Explosion. If I get to Corpse Explosion, should have started on you, actually. Well, it, we can just hit you once. It has to happen. Corpse explosion. We're gonna take a nasty hit this time. No, we're not. We're gonna take 20. And you're gonna die next turn. So you're seeing... We might as well heal, right? You're seeing the engine that can win us the game here. Dude, we have five basic blocks. This is too many deadly poisons. I don't think we need it. I don't think this deck gets stronger by adding more deadly poisons. Let's put it that way. 20 damage, huh? Uh, tempted, but I think it's very foolish. 
to triple your poison on this turn. Could be wrong, admittedly. So we're going to take seven. We're going to rest regardless. Um, I hate you. I hate you. At least we're healing for four. Please draw a corpse explosion. I don't think we need concentrate. Like, again, I apologize. It looks like I'm not adding anything to this deck. It's because we have win conditions. I do hate this. Um, it's going to take us a while to get there. Who do you corpse explosion here? I think you probably just apply the poison to this guy, but it is tempting to do like 50 extra damage, you know? Um, so, I'm sure. I mean, Die 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 doesn't get any better than that. Might as well start weakening one, get your artifacts handled, put up as much block as possible. Alright, we gotta start building poison. You took Corpse Explosion, that's fine. I don't need it yet. We certainly do not want Catalyst. I can't believe this late in the game nobody's been poisoned, but. We're probably going to need to survive one big attack. That's the way I look at this right now. Uh, so the thing is, in order for this deck to function, like, at all, I'm taking 16 damage here, I'm going to need some poison. I'm going to need some of my cards that do poison-related things. And I think you're actually the corpse explosion target, weirdly enough. But... We do want to apply Deadly Poison to you. Until we can get like the Specimen maybe and transfer poison from one target to the other. So you're doing 51 damage, oh my word. Um, you have Corpse Explosion. Killing you doesn't really matter though. But I kind of need to do it to live. Man, Bite doesn't even do it. Only Catalyst will kill you. That's hilarious. So we live. I don't think the Bites are super valuable, but it, it maybe starts to get you there. 26. That's a problem. Corpse Explosion doesn't exhaust? We just never had to deal with this before. Well, either way, we lose. Um, close to greatness. Let's try this again. I hate that we lost that one, because things looked like they were going okay. But I also, I mean, I didn't take any blocks, but also the like, blocks were Shiv Enablers. But maybe that would it would have been worth swallowing the poison pill there, just to make it happen, you know? I'll accept that. I still like enemies in your next three combats have three HP, but there's no way that we can pivot that into an elite fight. But we could, you know, I still like it. I do. Because we can start to constitute our deck in a way that seems appropriate. I'm going to go pretty hard on the Shiv meta. For now. Just from one card. Uh, I don't think any of those tickle my fancy too much. I'm not going to go to the shop just yet. 175 gold. Become cursed. Probably not very warranted right now. And I will... I mean, I love escape plan, but backflip is also really good. I consider them both pretty important. Alright, this will be an interesting test, because we haven't really made our deck too much stronger. You have eight extra block... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. You start with more HP, that's right. Uh, real talk, I might as well wake you up. It's not like our abilities get much better as time goes on. I think we may die very early on this one, as much as I'm loath to admit it. 
Now, taking a bit of a slow approach here. May come back to bite me. That's what we wanted, was another neutralize. Um, I think we have to accept... We're gonna need to take some damage. I'm, I'm just looking at the optics and I'm like, dude, we have no... We have no means to kill you. Like, even this is only worth six damage now. We're taking 14. I don't even know how much we did there. Probably less than 14. We only have to get you to 10 HP. But even that is, uh... I mean, it seems unlikely, right? So we'll probably lose again and then start over. Um... Four damage. Well... Do need to play. Actually, we needed to do this. I can't kill you. Being three decks and three strength down, just honestly end me. There's how are we gonna do 25 damage to you on the next turn? It can't happen. Please take me away. That started horribly, dude. <laughs> um This feels like it's ascension mode. It is killing me inside. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. I'm still gonna try for the Flaming Elite. I figure at this point, if you're going through heck, keep going, right? How do we fight the Flaming Elite? Well, we get to a better than basic starting deck. You know what? Let's, let's Costanza it. Deflect. Why not? No combat, please. I will obtain the Golden Idol. I'll lose 5 maximum HP because I don't want to lose HP in advance of this fight. 5 maximum HP is what I'm willing to do. Remove, transform, upgrade. Let's go. Let's get freaking nutty. Leg sweep. Beautiful. And we have an extremely defensively minded deck. We need some attacks if possible. Give me a knee for extra energy. I don't know. We're, we're going full Costanza build. Whatever we normally do, do the opposite. Uh, so I would like Poison Stab. Could we build into a Poison? I think we could still build into a Poison deck. Now, this is what I wanted, more or less. Oh, you guys are all gaining 4 block per turn. That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. It's like a cool thing that you guys do together. That's nice. So, all right, the odds are ever in our favor now. Remember, you got extra energy next turn. This is actually looking surprisingly not that bad. Because of the extra energy. You know what? Let's weaken this guy. It's not like we're going to take damage this turn anyway. Hello. Oh, okay, love you. I would not anticipate this to be the most exciting fight in Slay the Spire history. And yet here we are, slowly getting them down. And you know, I'd heard tells of the legends of yore. That if you want to win as the silent, all you do is take, like, literally every defensive card that shows up. I didn't want to believe it. I said to myself, that can't possibly be true. What about shivs? What about poison? What about blah? What about blah? They said, me thinks the streamer doth protest too much. And I said, you know what? I'm kind of out of pithy things to say at this point. Keep in mind, you get one extra energy next turn. So far, our defense is working wonders for us. What do you need on top of this defense? Well... Please, Lord. Uh, sustainable damage. Please. So, what I mean by sustainable damage is basically poison. Noxious fumes would be a great get. I don't know, dude. Even like a thousand cuts, we might be able to fit somewhere into this deck. That went extremely well. Ice cream, emerald key. I'll take a second fly. Let, let's thicken the deck a little bit, shall we? We're always thinning the deck, and our our track record has gotten a lot worse since then. I love a well-laid plans. 
I also still love a deadly poison, but maybe we could, you know, thin our deck a little. We'll take some of the basic strikes out of it. It's not really like a great situation for us to be in right now. So I think I want to go left. We're unlikely to make the next shop happen. Dude, this is great because I don't like winged boots anyway. Maybe that's my idiocy coming home to roost, but... Eighteen, okay. This is a bit of a weird one. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna keep you, keep you at bay. Hopefully, twelve damage. I think it's worth taking one hit here. We retain a defend just in case. I don't think we're quite at lethal range yet. Dude, well laid plans, just so unbelievably good. This is what we want, by the way. Is flying knee paying for itself every turn? I am kind of still committed to this idea that that poison means a lot to us, but you know, a 16 card card deck, it feels can't get you. For better or for worse, it feels like we're too late in the game to to pivot there, which is probably not true. Now remember, you can store energy here. We haven't had the opportunity to really do so. I'm gonna keep slime this time. We can dump it out of our deck. And not that we need to, because two attacks means we win, but. I was looking at Grand Finale. I'm like, you know, with well-laid plans, we might be able to finesse that. 18 damage. Why are you so rude to me? Really like to play flying me. 18 damage. I've accepted you're going to take my gold. I don't think we could have gotten you. Uh, that was we see. So we could have played slimed there. Not that it matters because this fight is over in one turn anyway. Go ahead, my friend. Enjoy it. I hope it finds a better home with you than it did with me. Thanks for the money. He he. This is what we need. Okay, so now I can actually start to think about perhaps there being a way out for us here. I think Noxious gets upgraded. I mean, it becomes 50% better. One of these enemies. Now we're talking. Hit him with the Noxious, Dad. Let's see how your win condition works when you're on a timer. Still hit him. I think we got him. Nine damage, that's perfect. Yeah, we got him. All right. This is the most excited I've been about a run since, well, two attempts ago, where I really thought we had something going. I hate the curse. And we can't really get rid of Parasite and our HP is already low, but okay, sure, whatever. You know, everybody knows the negatives. Honestly, with a leg sweep and a noxious, I think I'd rather... Like, basically, just pay it forward. If we don't get anything better, we can play the strike for the same amount of energy next turn. But if we have two cost things, we'd rather play them here. So we know next, uh, next turn there's going to be a leg sweep. I'm going to try to get you to breakable range. You are going to... God, I hate you. Um, 26 damage. 15. Look at that. It's beautiful. You're still not destined to split. Are we going to split you? Yeah, we're gonna split you. 
So we got this guy pretty much right where we want him right here. Basically, you seal your fate. As soon as you choose to attack me, you've sealed your fate, my friend. And being able to store two energy and also two defense per turn, that's incredible. You're still going. You're gonna take five damage, you're gonna split. So I'm gonna get rid of, get rid of. Keep it going here. Keep your deck roughly the same level. Hey, if we only spend three energy or four energy per turn, even better. Uh, it's a little bit of a rude turn, to be honest with you. It's one of the rudest turns I've ever seen. 46 damage, 36 damage. We are frail. Good, you're not splitting. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll play it out. So we're going to take 24. Not that bad. We preserve our block potion. They're unlikely to all attack every turn in the future. So get you with a flying knee. Put some poison on your name. Oh, you're already dead. That was a bit of a waste. So just pass this over. And we're totally fine. Assuming we don't have like 10 attacks coming in per turn. I can only do 8 damage to you. So I don't really feel the need to do that. I'd rather... Just do that. Basically, we'll just let the enemies kind of like, you know, finish themselves off. Doesn't that sound exciting? One dead. Another dead. And now I'm starting. So, specimen. Very big. I forget the. Because I do the poison archetype so very, very rarely. I forget the name. There's the specimen and there's the other one. One is like extra poison every time you apply poison. The other one is uh, when an enemy dies, transfer its poison. Both of these would be really good right now. Burst really would target a leg sweep and a leg sweep alone or maybe a deflect. Die, die, die. I, th I think you go burst just because here's my thing. Here's my axiom, all right? When it's upgraded, it's twice as good. Die, die, die is good, but we're more worried about poison. I think we can live with the burst. Okay. Um, Ring of the Serpent is extremely good. It leaves us light on energy, but we're not in a bad spot, like, energistically speaking right now. If you'll excuse me. Just have to check something in advance of today's Northern Lion Live Super Show, which I want to point out doesn't start for quite some time. I'm not like way behind the curve here. Okay, I was just be being prepared. All right, I like this path. Forces us to fight a couple of elites, which I think is probably, you know, smart for us. Start weakening the strongest one. That's a habit I've gotten into recently that I think has served me relatively well. Oh, look who it is. Noxious decided to show up. Welcome to the freaking show. We are taking a little damage here. Okay, so we want to play one. Smack. Save the other two. We got the energy to play them as well. So we're just smoothing our curve out, playing the cards, you know, at the right timing, thanks to ice cream and well-laid plans, which are working extremely well together. Uh, with five energy, we could knock one off the table and then still play two blocks. Now we are taking 10, which is bad. But the odds are ever in our favor now. This guy cannot attack before he dies. You're also knocked as beautiful. It's a beautiful situation. Enjoy your doubled leg sweep. Eddie Goro style Tekken juggles. This is a tough one for me personally. Do we have enough blocks? Yes. But backflip being upgraded is great, plus it makes burst better in the future. 
So we don't have, I mean, Master Strategy could potentially be extremely good. We don't really have Chemical X. None of this really appeals to me. Uh, so if you'll forgive me, I think I'm going to pull a basic strike out of the deck yet again, but I do want to pull a basic defend out of the deck too. All right, this guy. This guy. I respect, at least we cut through some of the plated armor. No noxious and no well-laid plans on turn one, though. Makes me a very unhappy individual. You have to play noxious. Not a, not a contest, you know, it just has to be done. Uh, what do we have next turn? I'm gonna end turn. And uh, the reasoning is very simple. I think our energy is better served maybe playing a burst or something on the next turn. Now, I'm not going to say a toe so. We didn't need to play our strike there. Slowly but surely, the noxious fumes do their job. There we go. Slight armor punch through. Two energy rolled over for next turn. Not taking too much damage. Not enough to be, you know, really concerned, I think. Eight damage. I'm going to save leg sweep, I think. We got him right where we want him. Now we got... We're paying the energy forward almost every single turn. I mean, even just burst deflect takes us where we need to go. And then we'll save even more energy. Should have kept a survivor instead. But he's dead, basically. Eight energy. Good God. Yeah, he's dead. By the way, we were holding this the whole time, just in case you were curious about whether you thought you had a chance of victory. Um, We do. Sh we, we should take Bane. It's by far our best attacking option now. Uh, lose? Yes. Yes, I will lose News Lament in order to take Nloth's Gift. I'm always saying, dude, I would love to remove <laughs> Nalil's Revenge to take Nloth's Gift. Uh, so, I like a lot of this. Uh, removing a card is great, but I do like the idea of taking Caltrops just to speed up enemy death as well. Who's our boss? Not really a multiple smacker, but we are blocking. Can we do a Poison Plus block build? Or would we be better off just removing a card? I think I think we're going to like to see Caltrops when it shows up. And you know what? I actually think Discovery... We're rolling the dice a little, but I think it could be great for us. What do you, what do you become? Because, oh, it doesn't exhaust? Yes. Burst, probably first call. But then I, I would like to upgrade Discovery as well. Giving you a choice of a card. I hope I'm not overrating it. It seems good. And, I mean, right off the bat, we can do twice here. Um, so we can get a lot of extra energy here, but we'd like to get draw as well. We don't need the well-laid plans. Blade Dance is not that good, so Sneaky Strike is definitely your get. Um, I think Riddle with Holes would be your next pickup. And just, like, already, this is extremely good. Hello. Oh, you got me a coffee as well. The clover. Ooh, oh, the clover system. Yeah. I've heard of it. It's holiday plant. All right. Well, have a holly jelly Christmas. I will. So there's our energy refund. We got some extra energy out of it. I hate discarding well-laid plans. I forgot that burst was still active. I mean, it's a good thing. Sort of. Taking no damage. We should attack. Even with ice cream. This is where things get dicey because we got 20 sort of block here. Um, or we, we want to put up 20 block. There we go. I'll hit you. Uh, I'll hit you for 10 again. I hate using the potion. You're only dealing 10 damage this time. That's not that bad. There you go. So we're taking no damage. Still flying knee and just throw a Caltrops on as a value add. I think we got him right where we want him because the poison's starting to work. Neutralizes a huge get there. Backflip. Starts to get us there. 14 damage. Takes, we're going to take 2 damage, which is fine. Roll over some energy. And here we go. So we got, things are moving in our favor now, finally. And at this point, it's just, uh, I know this seems a little weak, 
But why take damage, you know? Even if it's a high cost to play the cards, I don't see a need to take damage right now. I just want to make sure you're definitely dead. And I, I don't know that you are. I mean, we would have to hit you. We can do 23 damage to you. You would not die. Burst defend is, is still really bad. Um, so I think it's like, here's how we would have a chance to kill you. And this will not do it, clearly. So I'm going to weaken you. You're doing 14 damage. And then I'm going to play a defend on top. There, honestly, there was nothing better we could have done there. Except... Uh, and yeah, just crush him. Except get three extra block. Who cares? Blur is a huge enabler for what we got going on. Because we have to fight an elite, I will rest. But I really do want to upgrade Discovery. Sneko's Skull is also enormously good. Start each combat with one week. That's bad, but I don't think it's that, that bad. For what we've got going on. Noxious has to be played. It's hard to say no to just getting a shiv, because I think this fight is going to go on reasonably long. I'm taking five damage, who cares? So the poison is going to apply four per turn. That's going to start to amp up pretty quickly. The shiv. Deflect is free. Caltrops is pretty good. What would you play, Bane or Poison Stab? Poison Stab is four extra poison, but I think you just accelerate him down. Good. Leg Sweep. Oh, thank you. I think we, we started to put the vice grip on this guy. You know, we got the Xenia on a top sort of action going on here. Those of you who had your formative years during the release of 1995's James Bond film Goldeneye know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're rolling one block over. Incredible. Now, nah, this is what we want. Again, we're squeezing him. Sixteen. Get away with that, and then hit him with this. Okay. I think there's a chance we've got him for next turn. This is actually a pretty life-affirming fight for me, as far as uh, as far as it goes, at least. Eight. Oh, you are definitely dead. Like I expected, maybe this would be a little bit worse. But look at this. We took just a little bit of damage, just a hint of damage on the way up here. Whetstone hit two attacks I would like to see upgraded, so I'm happy to see that. And, I mean, I do have to say, it's a thicker deck than I might like. Dude, please, Noxious. I'm just telling turn one, dude, give me some Noxious fumes. Some fumes of a Noxious variety. I guess with weakness on turn one, we should always, as long as we get well-laid plans, store strikes with the same energy and use them later, but... Okay, so... Uh, four damage is nothing. So we will poison stab, bane you, play a defend, roll over, burst survivor. So with Noxious, you're not quite dead, but you're very close. Unfortunately, to kill you... I have to, you know, I have to attack you with this, which seems like a bit of a waste. I will still do it, though. And then I will play Burst and Blur, which, you know, you're going to frail me, right? I do understand the problem. We're going to end up with a lot of dazes. Oh, he weakened me. 15. So we're fine. Storm of Steel. Why not? But first, Caltrops. So prepare for a lot of dazes, potentially. Ah, this is a good turn to draw him. You know what? <laughs> 
All things considered, that actually went pretty well. <laughs> to be able to roll over the defense and get a bunch of those, you know, garbages out of our deck as soon as possible. I'm not mad. So you're doing 22 damage. We'll go here, yeah, and we'll go here. Yeah, we're taking none, and then we'll stack up some poison, and we'll hit you real good, and we'll do this as well. Okay, we're staying in there. We're making good decisions. 45 minutes into this one run, you know, it's... Uh, Frustrating for me that this is like attempt four in this video, but I'd rather do it this way. We'll take backflip because, you know, this is the way the deck's kind of built to work right now. Because then we just put up a lot of block. I wish I could do full service, but that's fine. I will lose 60 gold and I will continue to dump my nearly useless basic strikes. And who we fighting, boys? Uh... I will probably rest. Even though it's an overheal, I do worry this guy's gonna get out in front of us. So I think there's a, a pretty realistic chance we die. Smart play, not to play neutralize on a turn where you're weak, but also it's just better served later. Please, my son, I desire the fumes of noxiousness. It's not a good play. Nor is that, really. Um, we're just we're getting started, you know? I know the wind condition. We play Noxious Fumes, which does not exist. Uh, yo, that's 18 block this turn, and it exhausts, meaning we don't have to thicken our deck with stuff that might not be useful later. Thank you. And then we've been saving Neutralize for this exact moment, and we draw Noxious. <clears throat> so we draw Noxious. Uh, I will always push some energy over. Give me the blocks, because we're playing Noxious next turn. Seventeen damage. Not bad. Noxious. Deflect. The sweep of the leg. Fourteen. We're good. Okay, so what do you do? Smack him, pay him forward. This is where we can finally begin to start doing damage to these enemies. You are already dead. No, Captain, your men are already dead. Give me that. Give me a burst, followed by a defend, followed by a survivor. Oh, we have to do... Yes, that's right. And then... Bad turn for us, but, uh, you know, there, there's no way around it, really. That's an easy choice. Yes. Another Noxious. This will kill you. 23 damage. You know, definitely want... Oh, oh, that's so lucky. Okay. So we're taking 8 damage, and the poison is going to start to do what it's going to do. It's great news. Huge burst opportunity here. What do we like first? Um, adding another poison stab to the deck is the least bad thing. Tools of the Trade does something for us. Kind of not as good as I wanted it to be. But it is what it is. We've burned off our negatives, finally. What do we not need? I would say that we do not need a survivor yet. You know what? We don't need a flying knee yet. Because check this out. 14 damage. We're going to burst... Blur, and we're gonna burst leg sweep. I'm gonna do it on you, cause I'm really worried about your abilities there. And then we get two turns of rolling this stuff over, and the poison—it's just this guy. At this point, we're just like keeping our block as high as possible to take this so and so out. Okay, so that's the benefit there for sure.
There I suggest that another deflect is the right call here. We did just pay one energy for a deflect, but if you want to get like a really pedantic, no. We paid one energy to add a deflect into our deck. Burst and blur, please. Burst and blur. We did get blur. Sorry, Parasite. I don't want to see you anymore. You're dead. Okay. Here's where you start to hyunt and uh, maybe a little bit of hyunt. And I don't really want to play any of this yet. I want to save blur and leg sweep. The idea is a bursted blur or a blur plus a leg sweep do better. I'm not playing strikes anymore. It's not worth it. I'd rather save the energy. Dude, you are in for a world of hurt. It's finally happened. Okay, two free high damage cards, please. Uh, Predator's fine. Flechettes, maybe? You need to take three damage? I think I can muster that. Okay. So we've done it. And uh, we, we got a certain je ne sais quoi coming together here. I love after image, but I don't know. I mean, it does help us build block. No question about it. We got some zero cost stuff. Yeah, why not? Are we ever going to be sad that we have it? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I, I really don't like Runic Dome considering we're going to the fourth floor and I don't even know what those enemies do, but in the whole scheme of things, I think that we're just going to basically play our cards as best as we're able to regardless. We don't know who's attacking, though, and that's a problem. Well, all of them. That makes it easy. This guy's attacking for sure. I tell you, I can see it in his eyes. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't know if we play after image yet. This is weird. Um, can't even pick it up. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what have we done? Oh no. Okay, there you go. Uh, keep. I mean, we got hopefully some block for next turn. Give me a flying knee after image. Why did I take Runic Dome? All of these are bad. Um, sure, give me, I don't know, set up after image, okay? We have to do it again. No, put a blur back up there. All right. Play your blur. Play your deflect. And you know what? Roll it over, baby. Look at that. Okay. What's happening? I don't know, but I'm going to probably die. Uh, not even see it coming. Why am I so bad as the silent now? There was a time. He was my boy. I don't know what's occurred. I don't know what's happened. Please attack me. So that you may die. Thanks to Caltrops. You son of a... Oh, you so-and-so. Well, we are in a lot of trouble. You know what? Oh no, three max HP. Who cares? Get it out of my deck. I don't want to see it anymore. You always attack. It's really open for burst. Um, blur probably pays it for you. Here's how I see it. Noxious, Discovery. 
After discovery, a riddle with holes for free is pretty good. So you're gonna hit me, but yeah, only for 15. And we get to roll over two precious block. He does get stronger. Quite a lot stronger. I think he's still gonna hit, especially with the burn. Oh, still going. I love it. I don't think we're gonna... Yeah, I think this is how we want to do it. He's definitely not gonna hit us. Free blur... could obviously be better. But dude, not so bad. Still rolling. Ooh, this is really bad. Uh, on the bright side, early after image. You know, I, I respect that. Please draw a blur. No matter what we draw, we can't play it, so I'm just gonna hit you. Okay. Pretty terrible, um, but I think I'll take the glass knife just for raw damage. We're gonna take a lot of damage on this turn, by the way. Yep, 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 yep. Might as well play these because we have blur. Feeling a little under the weather? Unconfident would be another good way to describe this. Hey, I, I know I have blocks in my deck because that's all I have in my deck. Did you ever consider perhaps giving me these blocks? Still living. Hold it together. Hold it together. Continue to slowly destroy him. Twenty nine should be enough. Maybe this is our time. We got him. Just keep playing cards. It feels good to be in control. Escape plan, I, I think it fits. I haven't been adding a lot of junk to this deck. I know it feels it feels this like this to me as well, but it feels like I'm playing a little fast and loose. But we haven't really been setting up a whole lot of garbage here. You know, the deck is relatively thin. Not as thin as I would like, admittedly. I figured, you know, why not just start to purge his negatives at least, or his artifacts. Noxious, please? Hey, it's Noxious. Blade Dance works really well if we play After Image. We're gonna get hit for like 11 on this turn at least. We're dead. Hey, I saw. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, see you. Dang.